Now let's download and install Kali Linux system which we will be using to hack the Windows environment. So first let's go to the Kali.org site. Go to download section and you can download the 64-bit operating system. So it's going to take some time. Let me pause the video and I will be right back as soon as it completes. So it just got completed. So now let's install the Kali Linux operating system. So go back to the Hyper-V manager and uh, create a new virtual machine and uh, we can call it Kali like we did in the pre uh, previous series uh, we will install everything in the same location and generation 1 should be good um, 1 gig is let's uncheck this dynamic memory and we will connect to the private network so it will be in the same uh, network as all, as the other windows system and uh, 20 should be good enough for this VM and let's uh, browse to the location where it was downloaded okay and uh, everything looks good let's finish it and then uh, you can connect to the virtual machine and start the installation process. We'll do a graphic install. So once it installs, um, it should pick up an IP address from the domain controller. I mean, remember if we, we installed a DHCP server to that machine. So it should be between um, 192.168.1.210 1 to 230. So that was the range we assigned in the previous series. Okay, let's uh, leave the name of the host as Kali. And then uh, I don't think we need a domain at this time. We should assign a root password. Let's go with the central time zone. Make sure to use the entire disk. All files in one partition. For advanced users, you can go with the and we can go with different partitions. For um, for beginners, I think I I recommend going with one partition. And uh, you have to make sure to change it yes and click continue. Okay, this is going to take some time and I will come back as soon as it's done. Let's say no and click OK. So it's going to configure the app get pay, um, packages. So this step is important. Make sure to install a grub bootloader. Make sure it's on the yes checkbox. Click continue. And again here uh, again it makes sure um, slash dev slash sda is highlighted. So installation is now complete. Let's continue and um, the system will restart itself and we should be able to log on to the Kali Linux system. So the username is going to be root.
and the password is the one you set uh, during the installation process. So there we go. Uh, we have a brand new installation of Kali Linux and um, we should be able to uh, do our pen testing exercises from this machine. And uh, we will also install a lot of tools to the system uh, which will help us uh, do more advanced uh, hacking of the Windows systems. So let's check and see what's the IP address we got. And uh, we got um, this address which should be from the DHCP server. Um, let's go check and see if this was captured on the domain controller. Go to the tools and um, it'll be under Active Directory Users and Computers. Computers. Actually, it should be on the DHCP. Okay, there, there you see it. So Kali got an IP address of 216. So in the next video, uh, we will see how to install um, the Elastic stack. We will start with um, the Elastic and then um, we will install Kibana. And then um, the next video after that, we will install a Logstash, uh, which all these will be helping us uh, for monitoring all the Windows system in our lab.